Welcome to Log and to Learn Podcasts, North Lanarkshire Library's Learning Takeaway. This series of podcasts will help you to revise for Module 1 of your ECDL course, the European Computer Driving Licence. And don't forget, if at any time you want to know more, you can always visit our website at www.logintolearn.com. This podcast will provide you with information on the internet and variations on the internet, including intranets and extranets. The internet is a vast computer network which allows users all over the world to communicate with each other. The World Wide Web is not the same thing as the internet. It is the collection of information that can be accessed via the internet. This information is stored on the web in websites, each of which has a unique address. Many sites also contain links to different related sites. It is because any site can be linked to many other related sites, each one of which in turn will be linked to many more, that led to the idea of a huge web of information, the World Wide Web. Connections to the internet are made via an Internet Service Provider, or ISP. These are organisations that provide a powerful computer with the necessary technology to connect efficiently to the internet. Users then connect to the ISP computer via some kind of telephone connection, dial-up or broadband, and the ISP computer handles the flow of data between individual users and the internet. Your own computer must have a suitable connection and a modem before the internet can be accessed. Finding particular information from the vast number of sites available can be a difficult task, but it can be made easier by the use of search engines such as Google and Yahoo. A search engine is a site connected to a powerful database. Once you have entered keywords, the search engine will select every site on its database containing those words. Many medium to large organisations now operate their own internal networks or intranets that provide similar functions to the internet, that is, web pages containing company information and procedures standard forms that can be downloaded, pricing structures, newsletters, etc. Such a network is known as an intranet since it is effectively an internal internet. Intranets may or may not be connected to the internet. An intranet would only be accessible from within the organisation. An extranet is an intranet or part of an intranet which can be accessed by certain external users via the internet. A company or organisation that operates an intranet may wish to make specific information such as product ranges, prices, online order forms etc. available to suppliers, clients or potential customers. Access to this area of the intranet would often be controlled by usernames and passwords to establish the credentials of the external user and the specific areas of the extranet that the user is entitled to view. Thank you for listening to our podcast. For other podcasts to help you to complete the European Computer Driving Licence and more information on our services, go to our website at www.logintolearn.com or call our free phone help number at 0800 953 1010.